Morning everyone, I'm Greg Harris. I'm one of the photography curators at the High Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, coming to you from my home in Decatur, just outside of the city. I'm happy to take any questions that you have today as part of our AMA. Uh, we can talk about photography, we can talk about the museum, we can talk about what I do as a curator, we can talk about uh, all kinds of other things, I don't know, whatever you want. Uh, send them my way, I'm looking forward to it. I studied photography at Columbia College in Chicago. I got a BFA there. And then for graduate school, I went to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, where I studied art history, theory, and criticism. So the greatest Red Sox player of all time, I would have to say, is Ted Williams. But my favorite Red Sox player of all time, uh, without a doubt, is David Ortiz. I first got into photography when I was 13 or 14, when my dad gave me a camera. Uh, we were on vacation and I think I was just bugging him and he gave me his camera to go take pictures. So I think I'd leave him alone, but uh, it changed my life and I've been hooked ever since. My favorite photographer is Walker Evans. For my favorite group photography exhibition to date, I'm going to go with a fairly recent one. Uh, go Down Moses, which was at the Museum of Contemporary Photography in Chicago, it was curated by Teju Cole. Uh, it was drawn all from their collection and I just thought it was a really beautiful poetic show. Um, that had a very personal touch and a personal uh, interpretation and response to photography and the power of images. Clearly we're all a little anxious, a little worked up in these uh, unusual and challenging times, but an image that I think um, is really calming right now is a piece called Sun Sky by John Opera. It's an image of the sun emerging from the clouds. Uh, I think it's very calm, very meditative, uh, very optimistic. Uh, and I think sometimes when the world seems like it's in flux and there's a lot of upheaval, focusing on things that are constant and dependable can be really, uh, can be very reassuring in moments like this. The best job that I had before working at the high, and working at the high is a dream job, um, was actually being a line cook and a dishwasher at a small restaurant that I worked at when I was in high school. Um, I think that, for one, the skills that I learned there have probably served me the best throughout my life since then. Uh, but I also just, uh, I loved working with my hands and you know, being able to uh, focus on, on those tasks and refine them and just get better and better and better at them. I usually focus on contemporary photography, but one of the recent acquisitions that I'm most excited about um, is one of the oldest pieces in the highest collection. It's from 1851. It's called Mauritius by the English photographer Anne Atkins. It's a cyanotype that Atkins made by placing a plant specimen directly onto light-sensitive paper and then leaving it out in the sun. So she didn't use a camera to make the picture. Um, but it's this beautiful spare um, study of, um, of a natural form. Um, Atkins was uh, also one of the first photographers to put pictures into a book, and I absolutely love photo books, so she's kind of a, a key figure in that, in that history. Um, it's just a, it's a beautiful piece. I love it. One of my dream acquisitions for the high is Robert Frank's uh, image of a trolley in New Orleans taken in 1955. I think it's one of the most direct and precise images of social critique that's ever been made. The most rewarding part of my job at the high is working directly with artists. I love collaborating with them on exhibitions and bringing their work to an audience. Um, and I really appreciate the insight I get into their creative process and how they think about making pictures. But then closely following that is actually getting to hold uh, great works of art, getting to touch the photographs is such a rare opportunity and I love being able to look at them up close. Um, it never gets old. Bringing more diversity into the Heinz Photography Program is one of our top priorities these days. Uh, we do that through our collections and through our exhibitions and also commissions. Um, so our acquisitions, the vast majority of the purchases that we've made in the last few years have been works by uh, women and artists of color. I'm going to cheat for a second. got to look at some notes. Um, so, you know, in the last just three and a half years or so, we've acquired work by Zanelli Maholi, Susan Worsham, Dawood Bay, David Alakuji, Mikaline Thomas, Dean Arbus, Sido Keita, Jill Frank, Megan Riepenhoff. Um, a lot of uh, this work has been on view in some group exhibitions that we've had recently, and we're hoping to get some more of it out on view soon. In terms of our exhibitions, uh, we've got a retrospective by Dawood Bay, who's an African-American portrait photographer coming up. Uh, my colleagues Sarah Kennell and Maria Kelly are working on an exhibition called Underexposed, which focuses on work by uh, women from the highest photography collection. We've got a few other things that we can't quite announce yet, but keep There's so much good photography being made these days, but three photographers who I think are making fantastic work and are not quite as well known as they should be are uh, Jill Frank, Zora Murph, and Rosemary Cromwell. Uh, Jill uh, lives here in Atlanta. She makes 
incredible work about uh, image culture and how social media and photographs uh, shape identity, particularly within youth culture. Zora makes this really, really poignant work about gun violence and racial identity and stunning. And uh, Rose uh, lives in Miami and she makes these beguiling pictures about kind of the, the climate, the textures, the colors, and just kind of the oddity of, uh, of Miami. It's really just fantastic stuff. So I've got a little cameo for my son Emmett here for this one. So my advice for aspiring photographers, first, look at a lot of pictures. Go to exhibitions, look at books, but just absorb what other photographers are doing uh, to kind of help inform your thinking and how you, how you might want to make pictures yourself. And then go take a lot of pictures. Take tons and tons and tons of pictures. Um, when I was in college, I took a class with the photographer Dawood Bay, and the thing that he would always say to us is, you've got to make the photograph. So you got to go out there, you got to take pictures, you got to take a lot of pictures, um, and just and work through it and then edit really hard. And then get feedback. Join a critique group. Um, invite other artists or curators over for a studio visit, and just get some insight, on, insight onto the work. And then get the work out there, you know, put it up on a website, uh, and put it out for exhibitions, uh, if you can, enter open shows, uh, jury calls, open things like that. Um, but just get your work out there and get feedback on it. Um, but just keep going with it. So I don't really like anything but photography, uh, but if I have to choose something, uh, I guess I'd say sculpture. I'm not from the South, but one of the things that I've been really interested in is I've been learning more about the region and that I've been hoping to show to the, the many different exhibitions of Southern photography that we've been working on is just how varied and diverse the South actually is. I think there's this perception that the South is just a rural backwater, uh, but you know, it's, a, it's an incredibly diverse and exciting place. Uh, and there's so many great photographers who are telling new stories about the South and how the South is evolving. Uh, and I think that there's a lot of material there that um, that I hope we can share with our audiences. My favorite William? Eggleston. Uh, the guy really knew how to use color and he made an awesome book about Graceland. So like, how could you go wrong with that? Thanks to everyone who submitted questions today. This has been a lot of fun. You guys came up with some great ones. Uh, I'm gonna sign off for the night, but before I do, I'm gonna answer one last question. Uh, my favorite beer and photo book pairing uh, I like both of those things quite a lot, um, would be Pictures from Home by Larry Sultan. I think it's like a, an appropriate choice for now since we're all spending a lot of time at home. And I would pair that with a bottle of Bourbon County Stout. It's, uh, it's from Chicago. I love Chicago. I lived there for a long time. Uh, it's a nice, warm, cozy beer that, you know, is great to kind of uh, wind down the night with. Um, so again, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Um, stay safe, stay busy.